I'm really worried about my grandfather. I just saw this film about climbing Mount Everest. And I had no idea how incredibly hard it was. I mean, I always knew it was hard. But you can't imagine the sheer brutality of doing it. It's about 100 degrees below zero up there. And you're completely surrounded by ice. It's extremely treacherous. And you have to carry this 100-pound backpack while you're climbing at a 60-degree incline for 12 hours straight because you have to make the final ascent at night or else you'll be killed by a giant snowstorm. It's unbelievable. So, what about your grandfather? That's just it. He's in no condition to climb Mount Everest. Is he talking about climbing Mount Everest? I hope not. Isn't he like 85 years old or something? Yeah, he's almost completely bedridden at this point. He can hardly walk the poor thing. Not even with one of those aluminum walkers. And his eyesight is also very weak. I mean, he has almost no peripheral vision left. And you believe he is seriously considering climbing Mount Everest? I didn't say that. It's just that I don't want him getting any ideas because I think it would be very dangerous. Very dangerous. The man's completely incapacitated. What makes you think he's going to start getting ideas about climbing Mount Everest? I don't know. Uh, he's never climbed Mount Everest before, and maybe he's always wanted to because, you know, it, it's, it's there. Oh. People get that way at that age. Is he senile or something? No. He's as sharp as a tack. That's the one good thing. Well, then you have nothing to worry about. I don't know. But I worry. Me too. You do? About you. Costello took a job behind the counter at that drugstore on Bagel Street. Who hired him? Mr. Field's brother. He owns the place. Did Costello have any experience? Of course. He's worked as a soda jerk before. I didn't know that. The problem is, his first day on the job, he gets nauseous because he sees Stinky drink an entire glass of castor oil. That's disgusting. Tell me about it. So what did Abbott have to say? Abbott wound up getting into a big fight with Mr. Fields because he said his friend Costello was a 100% grade A nincompoop. That's not very nice. No. If I were Costello, I'd quit the job on the spot and go back to work for Mr. Bachigaloop. You see, this conversation we're having would never happen in real life. What do you mean? This is real life. Yeah, but in real life, people don't talk about this kind of stuff. We do. Doesn't make it any more realistic. I guess not. <laughs> My friend Roberta finally got a job. Oh? Librarian. Oh. In a college library. Oh. I could never do that. Do what? Librarian. Me neither. It's not that I'm not smart enough. It's just that I don't think I can handle all that quiet. Yeah, I like noise too. You know, sometimes I don't understand why people do the things they do. Like having kids. Or running a marathon. Collecting stamps. Reading cauliflower. Well, everyone's different. Still don't understand it. Used to be I could always figure a person out. Just one look and I'd know the entire biography. I can't do that anymore. Why not? I think part of it has to do with getting older, knowing how complex life can be, how many possibilities there are. That's true. I think another part of it is doubt. Doubt? My own personal doubt. You can no longer safely assume that I can predict human behavior. I'm now convinced that every assumption I make is going to be dead wrong. That's ridiculous. No, I'm serious. 
For example, I, I cannot possibly guess what another person is thinking. Sure you can. Try it right now. What am I thinking? You're thinking you should have ordered fat-free dressing. That's right. That doesn't count. You're always thinking you should have ordered fat-free dressing. All right, well, what about that woman over there? What, that woman sitting over there by herself? Yeah. I have no clue. Sure you do. Just say the first thing that pops into your head. I don't know. I, she's thinking... She's thinking she's having a nervous breakdown. You're projecting. You're thinking you're having a nervous breakdown. No. I'm thinking I'm leading an improper life. If I was leading a proper life, I'd know what she's thinking. See, she's thinking of how much of a tip she should leave. I never would have guessed. Wait, I gotta find out for sure. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah? I have to ask you a question. Yeah? What were you thinking about just a moment ago? I'm sorry? Oh, when you were paying your bill in the restaurant. What was going through your mind? Why, did I look strange? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Just, I have a bet with my friend, and she thinks you were thinking about filling out your income tax forms, and I thought you were thinking about the migration of sparrows, so... Mm -hmm. Who's right? Uh, neither one of you. I, I was thinking about rotating my tires. I never would have thought of that. Yeah. I have to go. Wait! I have a proposition for you. A proposition? Come, let's talk. Oh. I am going to pay you $100 right now. Thanks! Wait! This is an exchange for a very small favor. What is it? I want you to allow me for one week to call you at any time of the day or night. Mm -hmm. And when I do, you have to answer the phone if you're home. And honestly tell me what you were thinking about just before the phone rang. Okay. Wait! First I want to know a little bit about you so I can actually predict the kinds of things you'll be thinking about. Okay, um, well I'm a recently divorced college graduate. Uh, I was pursuing a career in special education. Uh, my hobbies include still photography, mm -hmm. collecting miniature brass animals, and macrame. Great! Thanks! What were you thinking about? What was I thinking? Uh, I was thinking I needed to go buy some paper towels. Damn! I thought for sure you were thinking about the depletion of the ozone layer. Sorry. Talk to you later. What were you thinking about? I was thinking about getting my nails done tomorrow. Damn. Thought you were thinking about welfare reform. Bye. Bye. thinking about? I was thinking about watching David Letterman. I give up. I thought that this time you were definitely thinking about investing in mutual funds. Good night. Zero? You bet it O for 50? O for 50. How do you explain that? How do you possibly explain that? 
Well, at first I thought it could only mean one thing. That I'm a misfit. A weirdo. Or at best, an iconoclast. But then I realized how much more interesting my own personal thoughts were compared to this woman's. I mean, her thoughts were not only substandard, they were completely boring. No wonder I couldn't conceive of them. So you're not worried anymore? No, I'm at peace. The world is filled with boring people. Just hasn't caught up with me yet. <laughs>